Hey everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we're going to be doing Whitebeard versus Gold D. Roger. So, um, it's there are two faces side by side, split in half, okay? So the first thing you want to do is get a ruler, and we're going to divide our page in half. I'm going to go slightly diagonal, but if you wanted, you could do it straight. But just the image I'm drawing from, it's diagonal, and it looks kind of cool, and I want to do it that way. So, <laughs> we'll just go diagonal first. Right, so just down here, roughly in half, right? So, like so, and so it's got, it's sort of done like, it's like painted style, right? So we've got like these, lots of these sort of lines, right? Like this, and some of them are thicker. This one's maybe, the main one's a little bit thicker. It just adds, a bit of energy or something to the actual image, right? So, so this is totally optional, by the way. Um, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. But I kind of like it the way it looks. So, boom. So, sort of like that, right? Right, so then we will start with uh, Whitebeard over here, and we're going to start with his. Um, we'll start with his nose, right? Because it's kind of under his sort of, you know, his bone sort of mustache thing that he has, right? So you, to start his nose, we just do a sort of a V here, okay? Like that, and you could have nostrils coming around both sides, like so, right? So we're just sort of halfway. So the halfway line on my page is about here. And he's up. His nose is up a little bit from that. Right? And then his big sort of bone that he has under his nose. Is it a bone? I don't know. I don't know if it's ever been described if it's if it's a bone or what. But uh, anyway, curves out this way. Like so. And then it goes up and off my page the other way. All right, like that. And then the bottom of it comes down. Like so. And we'll go up, off that way. So it kind of goes up and off my page there. But if you have more room, you could, you know, feel free to just join that up off that way. All right. So then above here, either side of his nose, we've got his eyes, right? So we'll just add them now. I'll just try and straighten up this line a little bit. Oop. Okay. So just up here, eyes. So we'll go. Diagonal, cross, and then sort of down the back. Let me bring the bottom eyelid underneath. Like so. And then his iris. Small grey eyes, just in here. Like so. So it's at the bottom because it's like he's looking sort of down at us. And then we've got like various lines around his eye, sort of he's frowning, he's an older guy, and then an eyebrow stick, ticks up there, and then sort of an eyelid line coming across here. Like so, there's the other eye just across the way from that, like so, where are we about eye distance now? I think the eyes are too big and one piece so yeah it's like three quarters of his eye will fit in between so you don't want to go much more than that right in between his eyes so this goes across so what i mean by that is so like the width of his eye won't quite fit in there okay it's just three quarters of his eye will fit in between 
So that's the distance you want to go in between his eyes. It's just because One Piece characters aren't really in proportion. Sometimes they are, sometimes they aren't. It depends. Right, so then bottom eyelid curves around here. And then his iris. And pupil inside. Right, so then we can have another eyebrow line. So sort of ticks up this way. And then sort of an eyelid there. And then maybe some like brow lines and stuff going up here. You know, some more eyelid lines. And then a line for the bridge of his nose, sort of going straight down there. Some lines in here, and some more sort of nose, frown lines, wrinkles, stuff around his eyes. So then, his hair. So we'll do just, we'll do the top half of his head, right? Because we might as well get it finished above this bone. So we have like hair spikes coming around, right? Just up here, just above the brow area. And then this curves down, All right? And then this curves down here, right? Like so. So this sort of strand of hair kind of keeps going over the bone. And then the one on the opposite side goes underneath it, right? It kind of comes back out over here somewhere. So then his mouth. So we've got like a big smiling open mouth, right? So it curves. Jump over that piece of hair. Curves like that. And then we have teeth on the inside. So, big curving line, big one piece teeth. Like so. And then, curve line here for teeth, and curve line on the other side. There for his other layer of teeth. And then you could see some lines on it. Like so, and a tongue. Like that. Right, so then his jaw and his chin, right? So his chin is all the way down here. So it's like nearly the full like, so it's like, I'd say like top of his head to his nose is about the same as nose to chin, nearly. Maybe top of his head to the bottom of his bone. Yeah, so here, so here to here is about the same, is about the distance you wanna go for his chin because his chin is huge, right? So like top of his head to the bone is the same as bottom of the bone to the chin. Right, roughly. Just because his chin is so big. And then this comes up this way. And then on the other side, we've got some hair, right? Comes down. Like so. And then he's got those sort of jowls or lines on his face, like like that, and then his bottom lip, just in here. Right, so proportion-wise, it, it, you know, there's not much in the way of proportion that you can measure. So like maybe eyes to nose is about the same as nose to bottom of the mouth, and then that's about the same again. So our eyebrow. Yeah, roughly. So eyebrow to bottom of the nose is about the same as bottom of the nose to bottom lip. And then bottom lip to chin is about the same again. So here to here, here to here, here to here. Right, so you got like thirds sort of broken up to his eyebrow. Roughly. But it's tricky with one piece because 
characters can have massive faces and crazy stuff going on. <laughs> so, um, rest of his head, right? So we'll just add top of his head here, curves down like so. And then bumps across the other side, piece of hair sort of sticking up here, right? And then, so he's, he's long blonde hair, right, when he's young. So, so, curves down like that. And then this like goes all the way down to here. So just adding wavy spikes of hair. Like that. Like so, and then another one here. Like so, and then there, more wavy hair hairlines, like so, and some texture lines up here as well. So that's like the side of his head. Maybe there should be like another hairline there. And maybe some lines here. Right, so then he's a shirt on, green shirt, just comes down in here and sort of wrinkly. Sort of down behind that hair there and then neck muscle lines. You know, he's a real big guy, so real big muscly neck. And like Adam's apple. Collarbone, another neck muscle, collarbone, and chest muscle. Okay, so let's see. Goldie Roger over the other side. I think that's everything on my beard. Yeah, so that's like shirt. Yeah, okay. Goldie Roger. Center line. About here, so his eyes kind of line up with Whitebeard's mustache, right? So just about here, and we start with the right eye. So it kind of curves up like so. so and the eyebrow is the top eyelid, right? On gold D. And you know, same on the other side, pretty much. So you could do just that on both sides. Okay, and then curve line around for his eye. Now this can just join the eyebrow there, right? And then iris circle, pupil in the middle. Okay. Same thing again. Iris curves around. And pupil in there. All right, and you know, Roughly, you could add some, he has some like eye lines around. You could thicken up this line a little bit. Like so. And we can add some wrinkles and frown lines and stuff to his face. Big brows, both these guys, so. Lots of these sort of detail lines. So you could thicken up the end of his eyebrow if you wanted. Like so, right. Um, and then his nose. So it kind of comes down the middle. Curves around there. Another line on the other side of it. 
and then we have like some wrinkle lines on his nose you know he's kind of frowning line underneath there Right, and then his nose hangs over his mustache, so you gotta just curve it around here like so, and around to there. But nostril, same on the other side, around like so. And then his big mustache curves out from his nose, down around the other side, classic sort of pirate mustache. You know, he looks like one of those old style villains that were in really old movies and stuff. Then his mouth curves around underneath. Teeth line in the center. And then some lines for teeth coming down here. So real exaggerated sort of features in one piece. Right, and his mouth is so big it comes out the other side. So he's got like, you know, a big smile coming out here. He's very happy to see Whitebeard. <laughs> like so, and then his chin. So his chin comes across underneath, real square. Like so, and then wide jaw comes out, goes up underneath his mustache just here. Just underneath sort of the edge of his eye, see. Goes across, goes up underneath the edge of his eye. And then we have a line just for his bottom lip. There. And he has a bit of a beard. But it's just defined by, you know, these sort of black lines, that's all. And then his hair, so his hairline, kind of like white beard, just up here. Right, and and in terms of proportion, like eyes to nose is about the same as nose to chin, nearly. So top of his eyes, say, to nose, about the same as nose to chin, and eyebrow to uh, top of his forehead, about the same as eyebrow to just under his nose. So like here to here, about the same as here to here. So maybe his top teeth area from the eyebrow. About the same to the top of his head okay top of his forehead just so you don't make his forehead like it's crazy big or anything you're just roughly going for that sort of distance okay and then we go his hair coming over his eye there hair coming down the side of his head face there comes out from behind his mustache this side and the other side you know pretty much same thing slightly different spikes down there so we got like hair blowing so this side of his hair is blowing over here and we can erase any lines we go over I'll do it in a minute I'll just finish the hair so spikes up and we're gonna go the whole way around Spiking down to there. Okay, so he's got a yellow, no, not yellow, a pink collar. That's sort of, let's see, we do this side first, so it like comes down this way. 
and then goes into there. And then this side, curves around like so, and then we bring it down like that. And then the other side, out around here. goes off that way it comes back in maybe here and then another his shoulder sort of top of his head shoulder area comes down that way red his red jacket that's what that is so that comes out then the other side over here you can't probably see it but roughly there and then shirt collar there and then neck muscles lines kind of like that collarbones he's got some hatching on him maybe like a chest muscle line or something there and then he's got um golden beads so just circles joined together and in the center there's like this flower like sort of shape Hmm, okay, so um, Right, so there's all like hacky lines and stuff all around so I'll just draw them in and they're colored in black, but you can They're colored in black kind of with Purple line around it. So it's kind of up to you You know what way you want to or how thick you want to do it there are these sorts of lightning lines. Black like this. All right, we'll just add some more over here. I might color them all black. I might just draw them in just so the video isn't too long and I'll, I'll color them in afterwards when I'm, when I'm coloring. Right, I just got rid of that line of his eye underneath his hair. But that's everything. How to draw Goldie Roger versus Whitebeard. Hope it's helpful, guys. See you in the next one.